Tales with a perfect service reception. No winner there, though, for Flavio. This time they've contained that. In comes Ishikawa. Does he catch the line? And the answer to that is no, he does not. Well, Ishikawa missed that opportunity. Flavio reaches to the right side, and Ishikawa misses to the wrist away. You're playing Brazil. Those are, those are the kind of shots you've got to have. Flavio. Serving Yamamoto, easy take for him and an easy put away for Yamauchi, uncontested. Japan not utilizing their middles a lot in this match, so it's good to see them get a point here and there. Really nice pick up there from Lucarelli, who will get third touch on this. Ooh, ooh, did that take anything on the way through? They're saying no, and immediately Lucas is saying, you challenged that. Lucas had big eyes on that. Yeah, as soon as the challenge came in, Japan admitted to the touch. We'll see the replay here, but yeah, right there off the pinky. Yeah, Yamauchi saying, yeah, that's on me. Fernando, 10-8 Brazil, he's mixing his serves up, Sakita sends it over to Ishikawa, that's picked up by Fernando down the line, this will be uh, Lucarelli looking at this one, and I think he's overheated that one, that goes wide. Uh, Lucarelli just missing the sideline there as well. There's just enough misses and service errors from Brazil to keep Japan within touching distance here. Yeah. But then Yamauchi has got to make sure his serves go in, especially when it's as soft as that. Yeah, he, he, and he doesn't need anyone to tell him that. Lucarelli then, 11-9. Got to be side out Japan. He's just got to dig in here. Stay close, Sakita under intense pressure, feeds Nishida, and that won't drop their way. Well, it was all service reception, the pass was not perfect. Sakita did well just to give Nishida any kind of play at all, but uh, the defenders were just lining up. Yeah, Leal finally getting that one off of Nishida that he missed earlier, and Sakita a little frustrated with his setting location there after that play was over. So Lucarelli. 12-9 Brazil. Cool. Takahashi picking that one up. Now, has Nishida got that? No, he hasn't. He hasn't. I think this match has just got away from Japan. Yeah, just I in think these so last too, two points. But that set just a little off the net. Nishida trying to make something of it, but just misses the inline. Nishida out. Kento Miyara in for Japan. Lucarelli serving at 13-9. Desperately needed side out here for Japan. Two of them going for that one. With Yamamoto setting from way, way, way back. And Fernando sets up the pipe attack. And that is just drilled by Lucarelli. And again, Japan in disarray on their service reception. And they paid for it. Yeah, Lucarelli just hammers that ball into that open seam. Too big a hit from Wallace. It's the consistency of the hitting from Wallace and from Lucarelli, and of course we've talked about Yoandi Leal. I mean, not been too many unforced errors from that gang of three this afternoon. Errors have been very limited. Leal, Wallace, Lucarelli. Takahashi tries to be clever. It's the right idea. Oh, so Lucarelli oh. improvising something there, and then it's all gone wrong for uh, Ishikawa. <laughs> Lucarelli trying to run a quick attack there. He's seen Lucas do it for so long. He wanted to get in on that action when Flavio wasn't there. But the misconnection 
You know, it's good to see Japan smiling and seeing the funny side. This actually sets up a huge third match for them in the pool phase against Cuba. I mean, they've got to get something out of that or they could face elimination. Yeah, a nice little push there from Ran Takahashi. Crashing it down there, wasn't he, Flavio? You know, maybe falling two sets behind a Cuba is exactly what this Brazil squad needed. You know, they came in after, a, by their stance, that indifferent Volleyball Nations yep. League. They fall two down and everyone starts looking at them. And I think they looked at themselves and said, no, 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 we're better than this. Yeah. But since then, they've just been inspired. Character moment for sure. And uh, perhaps it's carried over into this match. I mean, uh, this is going to be a statement victory for them that everybody else in the World Championships is going to take note of. Darlan, we know what he can do from the service line. It's another beauty. Ran Takahashi picks it up, but when you're setting from uh, there, you're asking for trouble, and sure enough, there is very little chance for Takahashi there as Miyara was setting all the way back to our commentary position there. Uh, it's impossible. Very compromised situation for Japan, setting the ball from that far off the court. This is some weapon to bring off the bench. This really is. I'll tell you, Darlan, Darlan's bringing it when he serves. There goes another one. This is devastating. <laughs> Absolutely devastating. Wow, what a serve. Oh, that had everything. Flight, spin, power, direction. Tomo. Miro Yamamoto could not deal with it at all, and there wouldn't have been many players in the world who could. Darlan looking for another big one. That's way too big. But hey, that's job done. That's another really good cameo. Yeah, yeah. He gets the other boys on the bench. Uh, Brazil, three points from wrapping this thing up. Takahashi. Picked up by Leal, Lucarelli. No, that's nice from Ran Takahashi. Ishikawa, no, that's picked up by uh, Yoandi Leal. And then they block him, but the block goes out. So Wallace will claim himself another winner. But Miyara was certainly there, one of a gang of three from Japan. And they could not keep it in play, and Brazil moved to within two points. Fernando serving at 23-14. What a professional job Renan Balzotto's squad have performed this afternoon. It was a match you thought potentially could have been fraught with danger for Brazil. And, and they've turned it into a comfortable straight sets victory. You can't even say Japan have played particularly badly, but Brazil have really brought it today. That's uh, Yamauchi with a little flash of defiance. Well, that's all it is. Yamauchi with serve. Tales picks that up. And that's another one for Wallace. And that brings up an awful lot of match points. The longer it's gone on, there is a chasm has opened up between these two teams. And Japan are staring down the barrel of a pretty comprehensive straight sets defeat here. Lucarelli. Sakita manages to set up Miura, and uh, he's found himself a winner there. Oh, Kento Miara forcing Lucarelli to make a decision here. Does he leave it? Does he go for it? And he decided to go for it. That delays the moment. Miara will be 
lining up to serve once we've got uh, the moisture cleaned off the floor. serves Tales. That could be an overpass. Fernando has somehow rescued it one-handed and Lucas puts it away and that point right there sums up Brazil's quality. I mean, terrific execution. Fernando with a floor.